Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make V2Ray on a Ubuntu Linux running 19.04 So first of all what we have to do, we have to buy a VPS For buying a VPS, uh, we are too many VPS service providers but here I am using DigitalOcean So first of all go to DigitalOcean and sign in as I have already created my account, you can buy your DigitalOcean account for as low as $5 for one month. Then I'm just going to sign in directly because I have already bought it. So let me verify it. I have already verified my account. And then we will go directly to my projects page. Here I'm gonna create a new droplet and then just just click on Ubuntu and select 19.10 or 19.04 as you wish. I'm here I'm using 19.10 and five dollar a month is enough I think one one thousand GB transfer rate and it's enough I think. Then uh, choose the region which is closest to your country. Here I am in China, so I am using Singapore because it's closest server and ping is very low. So then here if you want a private networking, then otherwise leave it these options as they are. Just create droplet. Just wait for a few seconds and the droplet will be created. Here I have got my droplet ID. Let's wait for it to finish. Now my VPS has it, just copy the IP and uh, here I'm using for the SSS, I'm using Putty. I will provide the download link in the description so you can download it. Just paste my IP address here and open. Yes. And log in as root. Just wait for a few seconds and it will work. No need to worry. Let me copy my... Let me copy my password. Now I have already got my username and password here. So as you can see, you can find it in your email linked with your DigitalOcean account. So just gonna try it again. Open put it. It takes some time to get ready some things. Now root. Now it's asking for password. As you can see, just copy and paste. Now it's asking for the current password, so you can input your new password. Let us confirm password. Uh, now we are in. So now we have to set up V2Ray. So what we have to do is just copy this command. I will put this in the description link and paste it here and wait for some moment. Now V2 Ray is installed. As you can see here, it's Chinese, but I can translate it. The port we are going to log in is 65432. You can also change this port from the UI, and it's UI based, so it's easy to use. And these are the few commands you can use if you have some problem like V2 Ray start for the starting V2 Ray and to stop. We can use this command to restart. We can use to see the status 
we can use this command and if you want to uninstall then you can simply use this command and now here here the password username and password is admin and admin let me get into my account okay first copy my ip4 address and my port is 65432 just click enter and here i have to put my username as it is admin password is also admin just log in into the panel and here here is the panel of the panel of the v2ray so if you want to change the panel settings just go to the panel settings and understood and panel port you can change the panel port from this uh this button and also you can change the username and password if you want to download any clients you can just click on the client and you can download you can find your client for your machine like windows mac android anything you can download it from here now simply go to account we are going to create an account just click on add icon and just name it as you want like we are going to name it v2 ray uh, leave everything as it is and click on add loading and it will just uh, click on the qr code icon and we are going to copy the link close and now let me open the v2 ray As I have already downloaded the V2Ray client, so I'm just going, what I'm going to do is I have already copied the link and just click when I run this software, it's simply like this and uh, it's in Chinese. So you can simply go to help and change language to English and just restart the software and it will be in English and click on servers and import bulk your all from the keyboard. And you can see imported bulk URL from the clipboard successfully. Click OK. And then you have to do one other thing. Click, right click on your V2A icon and go to enable HTTP proxy. Click on here. And then again, right click on your V2A icon and simply go to HTTP proxy mode. And you can choose global mode. Here it is. And after that, uh, you just have to restart your software because I have already used it too many times so I don't need to restart if you want to restart then it won't work so just simply we have already configured everything as you can see we have our server address here and already set up everything so just try if it works or not okay so you can see Google is working here fine and let's check our IP address for the confirmation so it's same like our ip4 address so our v2ray is working fine so in the next video i'm going to show you how to speed up v2ray so stay tuned subscribe to my channel thanks for watching